right, so today I thought I would share with you some of my techniques to how I put my puzzles together. Some quick tips, you might call them. And uh, these are the two puzzles I have to choose from. Uh, the one on the right is the Mulan one, and it has lots of different colors in it. So my uh, method with that one would be to uh, be separating out the colors between the grays and the greens and the pinks. But over here, the Cinderella one is just more of, um, kind of everything is just all blue. So I think I'm going to pick that one because it'll show you some of the techniques I use when you're dealing with a puzzle that is uh, mostly one color. So to see why I'm putting this white piece of paper down, please visit my How I Frame a Puzzle in 5 Minutes Without Glue video. The link is in the corner. So one of the reasons that I start with the frame is because I like to uh, work from the outside in. And of course I like to build onto the frame because I find it's easier to go with what's already there. And also because I like to line uh, my puzzle piece areas up where if I don't know exactly where they go yet I can put them in the approximate spot by lining everything up. So what I do also is that I go through when I'm separating out these straight pieces is that I always go and pick out what I think is going to be my first area that I do. So here you can see this is clearly different than anything else here so this would be a good one to start with and also here the pink reflecting on the columns is different than anything else on the puzzle. So I'm going to start with these two areas here. Tip 2. Planning ahead. Here you can see as I'm going through and looking for the pieces that I'm working on, I'm pulling out all the absolute plain blue pieces and putting them aside. You obviously can pull out and start sorting all kinds of pieces that look similar. But if you're working in a small area and small spaces, it's easier sometimes to just think one or two steps ahead. Number three, change your perspective. I always find that I can sit here and work on an area and then as soon as I think, oh, there's just no more pieces there that fit, and I go sit on the opposite side of the table and I turn it upside down, all of a sudden my perspective is different and I'm able to find a whole bunch of pieces that I couldn't find before that were sitting right there in front of me. Whether you call them loops and sockets, knobs and holes, tabs and slots, or keys and locks, my fourth tip is to organize by what I call the nubs. Okay, so this is actually always my favorite part of when I get to a puzzle. When I get to the point where I'm looking at the pieces and they just all look the same to me and I just can't kind of pull out anything distinguishable to match up with the different groups, I go ahead and I organize them visually for myself and I do that by them together so this one has no little I don't know what you call it <laughs> little round nubs on it this is your ones and then I lead right into the twos and then more twos but where they have them side by side two not opposite and then the threes and then the fours and that always helps when I get to this point like you know now I can sit here and look just for this piece or I can look you know, each for one of those and see how quicker I can uh, finish this puzzle up. Once we get to tip five, you are more or less not even looking at the puzzle as much as you are just the shapes of the holes left in the puzzle and the shapes of the puzzle pieces themselves. All right, so how exciting is this, guys? I am on the final stage. 
most people would get disappointed when you get to the end and you're like, oh, I just have to deal with all those spots that are exactly the same looking. But me, because of my little trick that I like to do, it's like a game I play with myself. So here I've lined everything back up again. We've got the fours, the threes, the twos on the sides, the regular twos, the ones, and the zeros. Just continue to pick away at what we know or think goes somewhere. Wash the holes, fill in. Alright, let's finish this thing.